Where is RPA heading to? Interesting question. Uh, I think about that um, uh, a lot uh, because there's a, a very close association between RPA and legacy systems. A lot of RPA is doing really dumb data entry tasks that are a result of fragile old legacy systems that are mm -hmm. too expensive to replace. So what does the future of RPA have once you want to transform the customer experience, which may require totally uh, modernizing the system? Right. If you move to a consumable cloud-based services um, or you move to a voice-first world where a lot of the data is coming in um, uh, from the customer directly, you, you eliminate a lot of the things that RPA is doing. I believe that RPA has to uh, excel along two dimensions. I think it needs to build some of the AI algorithms directly in it so that it could be move up the ladder uh, in terms of making more decisions, more cognitive decisions. Uh, without that, it can't exist just doing low-level fingers on the key type of data entry uh, tasks. It will die as a, as a product. It has to incorporate algorithms, AI, and the cognitive ability to make decisions. Okay, so that's one. I think secondly, it has got to get more aligned with the business process management world right. and being able to get a, a complete view of the process and be able to help transform the process. You know, sure, BPM and case management, the way we've been approaching that is not working particularly well. Um, there may be another way, and RPA could very much be part of that.